MCC women's soccer has a long history of success, and they can thank local talent for a lot of it. So it should come as no surprise that the top tribune this season is from Greece. Only thing is, it's not the Greece 15 minutes away. Instead, she's from the land of Mount Olympus and the Parthenon. Eleni Marco leads the team in scoring, even though she is thousands of miles from home. Um, this is a unique experience for me, totally different than I used to, to live back in Greece. Um, I feel right now very confident and comfortable, but the adjustment time for me was very hard and difficult as well. Eleni does more than just call Greece her home. She also calls it her other team. She's a member of the Greek national squad and missed some of her college season to play in the European Championship qualifiers. They didn't make the tournament, but that doesn't diminish the pride she feels every time she puts on that jersey. It's the best experience of my life. Um, I, I leave right now to, to play for, for my nation. Um, you can't, I can't even describe the, the feelings and how it is to, to be a player for and to play for, for your country. Her, it's not just the numbers that she's putting up, it's her experience at the national level. She's bringing that professionalism, the, uh, the soccer knowledge, and it's spreading to the team. And then that's been the most beneficial thing that um, all of our players have uh, gotten from her. To go from playing with world-class teammates to college players can create some problems. There are times she might get frustrated because her expectations are so high. Of course, when you're talking about someone that's playing at the highest level and they come to play at a different, you know, here in the States, especially, I'm not saying at MCC, but the, the level's not necessarily always when where you need it to be. So with that being said, yes, yeah, there's been a little bit of frustration and adjustment level, but she's taken it like a true professional and taken it with stride and adjusted with it with going, uh, going forward and, and kind of feeding everybody else and helping everyone else to get to her level? I think in Greece um, we have more um, teams with more uh, technical staff, but here um, the teams play with more uh, physical, um, with the physical condition. Um, it's uh, different for me even to, to play uh, with these girls. Um, the ages are different, um, the experiences are different, but uh, I have gained a lot for this uh, kind of uh, option that uh, I had. Um, in Greece, the, the things are different. Um, people there isn't very open-minded about girls um, of playing uh, soccer. And this is uh, the hard part there because we have a lot of talented uh, players, um, a lot of passion, but we don't have uh, the money and we don't have the opportunity. So that's why I'm here, because I had that opportunity to be a member of this team and to, to try to, to find my limits here. Her teammates appreciate what she brings to the squad and how she is raising their level. Yeah, she's pretty amazing. I mean, she brings a lot to the team. She controls our whole center and we're just lucky to have her. Yeah, she's definitely been teaching us a lot about how to play faster and quicker with our feet. I mean, she's been a huge help to the team. She's not only looking to help the team improve, she's always trying to make herself a better player. That says a lot about someone who is already seemingly at the top of her game, one goal at a time. She meets one, she's like, okay, I gotta do the next one. And her goal is to make it professional and, and keep going with the national team and win a national title here for us. And, and she's not stopping one bit. Her, her drive is second to no one. Every day I'm trying to develop myself as hard as I can. And uh, I, this is my goal, to improve myself every day at any kind of level.